Hi, welcome to 10xpune.org video part two. I'm Marcus and I talk about the structure we created for the volunteers of the TEDx Pune organization a little bit more in this video. I've created for that a user called Marcus which has exactly the access which a member of the program team would have. So if Marcus logs on, always the first thing he gets is the times page. And this times page is empty because I was logged in just 6.3 minutes ago and there is no update in the last 6.3 minutes. But maybe Marcus wants to see this time what has happened since yesterday morning. So he would type in 1.5, he would select days and that loads his times page for the last 1.5 days. So you can see here all the content which was created in the last 1.5 days. But let's get go back to the current times page, to the empty times page, because we wanted to talk a little more about the structure here. Each of these gray bar represents a space plus a team or a sub-team, a couple of people working on one particular topic. We call these spaces Comti. Comti just stands for a small community or a micro community of people. You see that these Comtis, they are hierarchical. There is one top Comti called TEDx Pune. And then on the second level, you see for each team a sub -comti. And on the third level, you see sub -comtis below each team. So let's go on the top Comti, TEDx Pune, which is the main Comti of this, uh, of, of TED, TEDxPune.org, which you will find all the news and updates related to the whole organization. All the most important decisions taken place, announcements, etc. If we go one level down, for example, to the program team, you will find always in the middle the team member, so you know who is in the program team. And you will find on the left side again the news and the updates of that particular program team. Then you will find a couple of spaces below. The most important space to start with is the open discussion space. That's the space where you will spend most of the time, at least for the beginning, on. If you want to discuss about the program, even if you are not a member of the program team, go to this team, ask your question, start a discussion, put an idea or a proposal. You can do that all by clicking on the gray bar here and clicking then in the green shuttle on whatever you want to do, for example, a question or so. I cancel that for now because I want to show you how you join a discussion. When a discussion is already going on and you find something interesting which you actually want to respond to, then click right there on this item which you would like to respond to. Select say, ask or whatever you want to do. So you say something and then you submit it there itself. Now this item is an answer to this. You can see that by a little more space, by some more indentation here on the, on the left side. And this item will always stay with, the other I uh, with this item. This item, the, the, the second item, will always stay below Abhishek's item. You can edit this item by clicking on edit, but while mouse over edit, the shuttle shows you more options regarding edit, especially it shows you archive or trash. You trash an item, then it is lost and disappeared and you have no way how you can retrieve it again. If you archive an item, it will just disappear from the page here. So you, uh, you don't see this item anymore. But here you see a view archive link and you can retrieve the item again. You can see the item and if you click on the item you will get the option of restore or of trash the item. So the shuttle is really the, your toolbox which you do everything on the layer. 
So if you click the shuttle, it proposes you a few options here, which might be different on different places. But you have many more options when you mouse over the plus here. For example, the standard options you find the to-do, you find headline, small, image, image, etc. An important option is maybe long text. You use long text if you have a lot of text. You write a title and then you can post here a big text inside because you do not want to overfill a comedy maybe with a lot of text. So when you copy a long email or a long piece of text, use this. Then you write an abstract or a summary of your item. Then you submit the long text and you see the text don't doesn't appear on the comedy. So if the text is a long minutes of the meeting, then it you just see minutes of the meeting and then you can either click on the title or on this more link here and you will get the text, the whole text. And you will also see wherever there is a click you will see ah, one person has hit that, one download from one member and you can see the details of who has downloaded that particular item. You have here more choices. I want to especially show you the expression tab here. You will find all kinds of different expressions. So for example, if a long discussion uh, was going on, finally you want to take a decision. So click on decision for this. And these expressions, they are represented by different colors. So decision is for example red. So when you come on a space which is quite full, you will see the red color symbolizing a decision. So you will realize quickly on which places there are important decisions. Now if you are not sure who is actually seeing that, then you can always go on the bottom right of your Comte you click on that colored bar which you see here will give you a couple of Comte options you click on show members and you see a lot of members who see that item so you can ask well who is actually Pratik for example so if you click on him on his uh, name you will see his um, his virtual business card and like this you can you can see who who is who here so you see so many people because basically almost all places, almost all comptis on TEDxPune.org are open for anyone to put content. There is only one exception in each, for each team and this is called team space. So all these comptis are open, only the team space is a closed space for that particular team only. Again you see that down here show members and you see much less people. You see here only the members of the team plus a few people of the Colair organization supporting that tool. So if you have further questions please come to the support county interact with us, ask whatever you want to know and especially go to the test sandbox and create, just create sample content, try out the shuttle, try the different options, the different expressions and I use for this now a thank item. Thank you very much for your time. And I hope we, Colair, can make you with that tool a little more efficient in your work. I hope this is, will help you, this tool. And especially, I hope you will also have a lot of fun on TEDxPune.org. Thank you very much.